Richard Mluli, the former crime intelligence boss. Freedom under law wasn't easily going to let him off the hook. Today, the Supreme Court of Appeals upheld an earlier high court ruling. The decision set aside today that of the NPA Specialized Commercial Crime Unit to withdraw charges of fraud and corruption against him duly. The National Police Commissioner's call to withdraw disciplinary proceedings against him and to terminate Mluli's suspension and reinstate him. The fraud and corruption charges relate to Mluli allegedly employing friends and family as intelligence operatives and misusing police funds to buy luxury cars. Freedom Under Law says it will monitor to see if the charges will be reinstated. It certainly is a victory. It's not a knockout victory like it was in Pretoria. It's a victory on, on points very, very clearly. We are satisfied that the rule of law has been vindicated fully in this case. We are satisfied that our decision, about which we agonized a long time, was fully justified. The national director, uh, together with his deputies, uh, they will study it and, of course, they will then come together uh, and discuss the matter and plan the way forward. But at this point in time, um, you know, it is fair to say that we we'll need some more time to study the judgment uh, and to consider our options. The FUL is also keeping an eye on the 1999 murder case allegedly involving Mzuli. Opa Ramukhibe, the partner of his ex-lover, was shot and killed. Janjicha SABC.